We're going to unlock the Electro Spirit with one simple trick in the challenge. Mmm, it's an orange juice. I might have lied. There's actually two tricks. First, you got to use code OJ. We get a small kickback from that. It has nothing to do with it. But number two, play a deck you're comfortable with. Electro Spirit works in every single deck other than Graveyard. If you're good with Hog Cycle, do Hog Cycle. Does it replace Heal Spirit? Not so much. Does it replace Ice Spirit? 100%. Balloon anything with Ice Spirit that you're comfortable with. Play the deck you're most comfortable with and you will win this challenge if you're good. <laughs> Before we get into the challenge, I want to talk about the boost that's going on right now. The Electro Spirit is now boosted with the Electro Giant. Does this deck work? Kind of. Y you lose the ability to heal, and that's a really important aspect of it. Barbarian Hut defends against everything. The reason why I personally chose this was because Elixir Golem, Battle Healer, it's cheesy. If you're really good with this, if you understand how this works, it's so cheesy. You got the Baby Dragon and the Electro Dragon. They synergize so well with Tornado. Electro Spirit and Tornado is going to be one of the strongest synergies. It's just so good. First things first, we got to activate the King Tower. Maybe we'll just... You know what? We'll give him some Elixir. Oh my. He just defended a Barbarian with a Witch. I personally don't think it's worth it to continue. Really? To I would just unlock it at seven wins. It, you don't have to hit nine. I wouldn't continue if you're already at seven, unless you already have the season pass, which is amazing value. Let's get into this. If you haven't seen my verse all or my tech video on Electro Spirit, you're gonna understand why you shouldn't bridge spam. And if my opponent watched my video, I'm doomed. Nice. Uh, well, Barbarian Barrel, some of that. He could have activated my King Tower for cheap. Oh man, I just wish he bridge spammed me. One more hit, yes! Oh, beautiful. Does that one Spear Goblin destroy one entire wave of Barbarians? That would stink if it did. I should know that interaction. Alrighty, let's get rid of um, those Spear Goblins and those Bats with Tornado. I don't think you should bring bait in this challenge, not with Electro Spirit. He's got an Inferno Tower for that, That's or Inferno Dragon for that, that's fine. I have an Electro Spirit, I have Electro Dragon, there's just so much bait. He has bait with Skeleton Barrel Bats. That's, that's not bad. <laughs> oh gosh, here we go. Let's pull that, I, I want zero damage whatsoever. The bats aren't going to connect. If it's in a strange formation, it might get one hit. No hits. We're good. All right. Let's pull the skeleton barrel. It's almost double elixir. I don't want to really use my elixir golem unless I absolutely need to. I hate that the battle healer floats now. She just goes straight up. Here we go. Battle healer on the ba bottom left. It's three seconds until double elixir is going to be a big boy. I'm pushing. I'm going in. We're going in. I'm going Electro Spirit. I'm going Baby Dragon. It does not matter what's going on right now. No. Oh my gosh. He's got a Mega Knight. Here we go. I've got Electro Dragon for the bats. He's got a Lightning for me. A little scary. Oh yeah. We're, we're going to need to Barbarian Barrel. All of those skeletons. Oh boy. So he's got lightning. Well, then I just won't give him Electro Dragon value. Let's take over the Spear Goblins though. We gotta, we gotta address that real quickie. I took, I took care of that. That's good. That's good. The spirits, they connected. Okay, get rid of the Spear Gobs. Nope. Oh my gosh. I didn't have Electro Spirit in rotation. That's so bad. He's he's wrecking me. I just got to cycle to the Barbarian Barrel and we're good. Oh, shoot. That was too late. My Electro Dragon actually did something. It, it, it delayed it. Not good. Here we go. This is the final push. Tornado King activation. That's how we do it. It doesn't matter. Spam everything. I wasn't losing. You were losing. I should wear a heart monitor. I actually thought I was going to lose. 
<laughs> I'm so bad at this deck. Uh, there we go. We unlocked Electro Spirit. I just donated my one and only Electro Spirit. How do I still have one? <laughs> I have zero Electro Spirits. Welcome to the Juicy News Network. My name is OJ. Today we're going to be talking about current events that's happening in the Clash Royale subreddit. A lot of people miss Clan Wars 1. It's very draining. I, I understand where he's coming from. That's a very well-timed emote. This is my fifth time watching this. <laughs> I love Meme Mondays. I, I should just make a video on just Meme Mondays. Electro Giant in the trailer. <laughs> Electro Giant in the game. <laughs> Lumberjack changes from his right hand to his left hand as he turns. Th that's just the way this works. The way the pixel art works. Oh, that is satisfying. The amount of Inferno Dragons you see there. Holy heck! That is the bounce of the century! Okay, Valkyrie, Musketeer, Princess Tower, Knight, Firecracker, and onto the other Princess Tower to take it out! <laughs> that's it. That, there, there's no other news that I can read today that's gonna be better than that. That was nuts. Here we go. We already unlocked him. That's all we needed. Do not ever put Electro Spirit at the bridge. Never, ever do that. If only that had enough health to connect. That would have been money. That would have been a king activation on that tile right there. I'm care I'm I'm surprised nobody knows about the king activation. Did they not watch my videos? <laughs> nah, for real though. It's a it's a pretty value king activation. He's he's poisoning very early. My goodness. Let's do an electro dragon there. He's got a bandit. He'll have a Pekka for my elixir golem. Uh, that works too. <laughs> I am okay with that. Oh my gosh, are you serious? It didn't take care of the th stuff. Well, at least I got a freaking activation here. There we go. His P.E.K.K.A. may have connected, but I got something out of it. Let's see if we can get that ghost. I am totally okay with that. The king is activated, so... I might not lose my tower if I'm lucky. Oh boy. There we go. He's winning with Brit Spam. Oh boy. Now we let him have it. That's fine. Everything's fine. Maybe I should, I'm just gonna use bridge spam after this. Bridge spam. That's my element. I'm gonna totally ignore that. Let's um do a battle healer. Oh, beautiful. This is where this deck doesn't shine because a heal spirit would have done real good right now. Real good. All right, this is it. We're just, <laughs> we're just gonna give him elixir golems. Oh gosh, that electro spirit on the right side is value. Oh my gosh, how did I take the tower? That should not have happened, my goodness. I'll take it. That freaking El Electros wizard, though. Okay, we gotta we gotta pull it upwards. Oh boy, and that Electro wizard. No, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Might as well go in. I'm gonna I'm gonna cycle to my elixir golem. We're going in. Take with that ghost. I just need to cycle to my elixir golem again. We're doomed. We're so doomed. Yep. No. So doomed. Oh boy. Can I hold? The elixir golem died. He's he's up like ten elixir now. Just take it. Just take it. There's nothing I can do. 
<laughs> that was a lot of magic archers on the map. Hippity hoppity, your deck is now my property. This is my deck. I invented it. First things first, don't rush. If you do rush, maybe he'll rush his Electro Spirit. That's gonna be a pretty big win for my part. Oh boy, he did not rush Electro Spirit. <laughs> Ooh, I mean. Oh, I was hoping to activate the king. That's okay, that's okay. Everything's fine. We're just gonna get rid of some of the things. He could activate the king tower. I'm gonna pressure him real hard on the right side now. Oh, yeah, that's that's free damage right there, if I ever saw it. I had to zap that mini P.E.K.K.A. It was coming in at full force. Now I'm down so much elixir, all because I rushed the bandit in the beginning. Why do I rush? Do what I say, not what I do. Two seconds in, I already know it's a bad idea to rush. Why do I rush? Oh boy. All right, well, I can counter that with a roll ghost. I don't have enough elixir to do a P.E.K.K.A. So we'll do the next best thing and we'll just band it. Maybe we'll just do a battle ram. I, I I can dig that. Oh my gosh, I cannot do that. This mini P.E.K.K.A just stops me every single time. Give me your hog rider. Just 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 bring your hog rider. Bridge spam. He'll have Skarmy. So I've got Magic Archer. He's gonna have Hog Rider next. After he counters my Magic Archer. Hey, I'll take it. Yep, there's the Hog Rider. Beautiful. Oh boy! Three Musketeers! That was. I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness. My bandit better take care of that musketeer real quickie. I'm going in with that electro spirit. It's 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 going. And it stopped my battle ram, but it still connects. Never doubt. Except for that uh hog rider that's coming. Oh boy, I misplaced my magic archer. Everything's fine though. Roll ghost on the right side. Battle ram pressure on the left side. Ooh! He's uh, he's gonna have hog rider. There's the hog rider. <laughs> you know why this deck works so well for me? Because I I rush the bridge with no regard for strategy. But if you actually play this deck well, oh shoot! I put my finger down. No, not like this. Not like this. I misplayed that bandit. Oh, not, 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 not that good. Look at the, that electro spear connected to the tower. Oh, we're just, we're just gonna rush now. There's no way he's gonna recover from this. Nope. We're, nope. Poison. It's gonna connect. No way. Electro Spirit, slow him down just a little bit so I can cycle back to my poison. That's it. This is the best deck you can use. Honestly, I'm very comfortable with bridge spam. So this deck works very well for me. If you're comfortable with Hog 2.6, replace the Ice Spirit with the Electro Spirit. It's gonna work really well. At the end of the day, Cycle decks are gonna be a little bit harder to play. So if you're not a Cycle player, it's gonna feel a little frustrating to play those decks. So play what you're comfortable with. If there's a Golem deck that you're good with and there's an Ice Spirit, swap it. Uh, you know what? Let's get the 250 Electro Spirits. We're one game away. We're rushing. I hope he rushes back with the Electro Spirit. Ah, heck. Actually, that's pretty value for an Electro Spirit. We're gonna let the Bomber connect. Oh my gosh! That Electro Spirit connected to that Firecracker. I'm going. I'm. I'm gonna 
make him regret he ever played that firecracker. Look at that. Two hits on the tower. Takes out the firecracker. Magic Archer connects to the tower. That's already 1,600 damage. That's 1,100 damage to the tower. Oh, heck. He's spamming with a dark gobby. All right. I know. Now I know how that feels. Still waiting for the... Wait, what? Not like this. Is he giving up? No! Fine. Ah, oh, dang it. I guess he knew that he was going to get hard countered by this deck. Uh, at least the Electro Spirit can kind of tank. I'm so sad. This is my final game. And this is how we win. I didn't even have a good game with this bridge spam that I want to show y'all. All I did was rush really poorly and play this deck badly the last game. I am so sad. <sighs> he was just scared of my greatness. He knew he was going to lose anyways. Look at that. We're flawless. 8-0. 9-0. <laughs> Zero, Zero losses. losses. We got to unlock this on my mini. I got to trade myself. This is going to bring it up to level 8, I think. Level 7? Ugh. That's it for this video. Bring what you're comfortable with. If you're comfortable with bridge spam, take a bridge spam deck. If you're comfortable with hog rider, hog rider. If you're comfortable with elixir golem, go for it. Electro spirit works in every single deck. It's a one elixir card. You can't go wrong. Just watch the tech video first if you don't understand it. You, you need to know that it activates the king tower. And you need to know how to activate the king tower. I couldn't really show that in this video. Because no one ever really rushed me. Except for that one time. And then I kind of missed. We don't talk about that. That's going to be for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay tuned for more. Code OJ.